It's just, when you use the wrong term, you sound kinda, you know. Right to the point, if there are black bars on top of and underneath the video you're watching, that's called letterboxing. If there are black bars on the left and right of your video, that's called pillar boxing. You know, like vertical pillars. You got it? We good? Cool. If that's all you cared about, that you just needed that clarification, then you're you're good to stop watching this video now. But as aspect ratio pertains to the Xperia 1 specifically, I found this to be an interesting conversation. Uh, some gnashing of teeth over minimal differences in overall design. Now, the Xperia 1 is a 21 by 9 display. It's tall and it's skinny. And it does have a unique ergonomic feel for that thin candy bar shape. But it's not so profoundly different from the current zeitgeist to warrant some of these criticisms that I've been reading and seeing in other videos and reviews, IMO. We're not too far removed from popular devices sporting 19 by nine aspect ratio displays. In terms of size, the Xperia 1 landing somewhere in between the Note 10 and the Note 10 Plus for the diagonal screen length with almost exactly the same surface area as the smaller Note. Two and a half times more pixels in that surface area but I'll save that for another video. Put it another way, the Xperia 1 is taller than a OnePlus 7 Pro by its forehead bezel, but the phone is only as wide as where the OnePlus screen starts to curve. If you're watching 16 by nine content, any taller phone will pillar box or will be forced to crop the top and bottom of the video to go full screen. The effect is more pronounced on the Xperia, but not radically so compared to the competition. Watch some cinema-wide content and the viewing experience here is second to none. And when we factor in the advantages for vertically arranged apps, it's just a different conversation of pros and cons than we're used to. But we can handle that, right? Making an informed decision based on good data and not just reactionarily running to what we're familiar with. Right? Right? I'll have plenty more to say about the Xperia 1 as I wrap up my loner review period, so stay tuned. As always, thanks so much for watching, for sharing these videos, and subscribing to this channel. More than just nerding out on a new phone at launch, we really want to get to know these things before we start vomiting out our opinions. Tech commentary should be a bit more nuanced than worth it or not worth it for the monies. If you'd like to help support the production of those conversations, there are links below, or you could consider joining the list of names scrolling by on your screen. A growing community of fun, like-minded tech pals, a huge resource for me as I'm planning future videos and editorials. I hope you'll check them out. They're good people. Now, you know where you can find me around the rest of the internet at some gadget guy on the Facebooks and the Instagrams and the Twitters and the Twitch. And I will catch you all on the next video.